This video is supported in part by Retro Days, a place for nostalgia nerds to gather, share memories, chat, and engage. Go to RetroDays.com or check their YouTube channel linked below. Three Atari classics in one tiny package sounds like a great deal, but is it worth your money? We're going to find out right now. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No games, no puns. Not allowed if you're a grown up. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John, I am a Gen X Grown Up, and I want to thank you for checking out this video and the rest of the channel. If you're an Atari fan, we've been on quite a great run lately. A couple of reimagined games we did reviews of recently, that new uh, Missile Command Recharged on mobile, and then Pong Quest that came out on all the different platforms. And it got me thinking about this little unit that I had sitting waiting for a review, actually. It's from Super Impulse. It's another of these micro arcade units. And it's Centipede, but it also has a bonus. Missile Command is included. Now this is from series one. You'll remember we did a review of Pac-Man and Cubert of these, which were series two. And though they were kind of cool, they suffered in the sound department. So I wanted to take a look at this one. Even though it was series one, it's a twofer. And they normally were 20 bucks, but right now they're going on clearance for at least 15. You can find them easily, maybe 10 bucks. So I thought we'd take a look and find out whether or not this guy is worth your time and or your money. Real quickly before we do, if this is your first time watching Gen X Grown Up, I'd ask you to look for that little bar that lifts. See that subscribe button in the corner? Give it a click, maybe enable notifications with that bell, make it way easier for you to see much more of our Gen X inspired content just like this. All right, little micro arcade centipede missile command, let's see what you got. And here's our little centipede uh, with bonus missile command. Uh, unlike the series two, these come in a little uh, like a plastic case instead of the card, which is fine, I guess. They can hang on a peg as well. Uh, before I open it up, I got to call attention. You know, we've been uh, kind of having trouble with the sound issues on these, and it even says here, authentic sound. I'm like, hmm, okay. I mean, being the series one, I don't know, eh, we'll see, I don't know. But let's get into it and find out. Let's see, got some instructions. Don't need instructions. Okay, so inside, oh yeah, so uh, we have micro USB for charging. Uh, we knew it would be that. And, oh, I love these catalogs from Super Impulse. That shows the bajillions of little cool tiny toys that they have. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, but here is our toy. Let's get him out. If you've looked at any of these before, you know exactly what to expect. But let's take a quick tour. Uh, the same kind of cool transparent industrial design. I love the ability to see the chips on the board there, even though there's a precious few of them. Uh, micro USB charging here on the bottom. Uh, nothing on the sides. On the top, we have uh, volume toggle, which is just on or off, and then power on or off. I want to call attention to a very slim profile on these buttons. I don't remember the Series 2 being quite like this. Maybe they were identical, but my memory is such that they uh, they rose up a little bit. Maybe not, but it's super flush. The buttons kind of, uh, kind of indent into there. Uh, and size-wise, I mean, they say it's credit card size, and sure enough, I mean, you could hide a credit card right behind this guy. So uh, yeah, fit in your pocket. Uh, nice and easy, but uh, the main thing, of course, we got to see how this plays both the centipede and the bonus missile command. So let's find out. So this is great firing it up. I mean, initially I thought a missile command was a bonus game, but Pong is also included, which is that's a pretty cool bonus. So let's start with centipede and see how that does. Uh, it looks decent. Uh, let's get started now. No trackball, of course. So oh. That piezo speaker is just what I had been concerned about. And centipede with a track without a trackball is it's kind of not centipede, you know, in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's I mean there's none of that frenetic quality. That beeping is that's not cutting it for me. I mean the version of centipede is okay, but there's that constant kind of chunk 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 chunk, that sound of centipede. Uh, as the centipede is working his way to the bottom and the, the sound of racking up the score, I mean, everything about it, yeah, that's, oh, the sound is just the killer on this every time. All right, let's, uh, let's see what else we got. I'm back to the main menu. Let's take a look at Missile Command. Oh, that looks good. That looks nice. All right, let's see what we've got here. And now there's another trackball, Ugh, another trackball game. Oh, the sound is kind of horrible. I mean, we knew it. Oh, the big problem here is navigating around the screen fast enough with a D-pad with no acceleration. I mean, forget it. Oh, I need to shoot. Come on. 
Come on, get down there. That beeping is the only thing that does sound good. <laughs> oh, the rest of it is... Yeah, that's not an explosion noise, by the way. Yeah, I've had enough of this too. All right, let's take a look at Pong. Moving on to the third one, the bonus game, Pong. Now, it did have a trackball, but it did have <laughs> did have paddles. What are the options? All right. Let's see what we've got. Oh. Really? Yeah. How do you play this without a paddle? I'm getting crushed, and not just because I'm, I'm bad at it, but because, you know, Pong with a D-pad is not, not proper Pong. Ugh. What in the world? How do you screw up the sound in Pong, for heaven's sake? I would like to see what the options are, so let's take a look. Uh, full paddle or half paddle? Are you kidding? Full paddle was bad enough. Yeah, let's try the... Oh, geez, a tiny little half paddle. Talk about tr trouble with precision. I'm actually doing better with it, but that's because I had a little practice, I guess. But yeah, it... Uh, Wow. How do you screw up Pong? This is... Mm, mm, mm. No, 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 no. This is, this is not good. All right, well, where to begin? Let's start with what's good. Uh, three games for the price of one. That's great, that's nice. Industrial design is cool. Super flat, slim form factor, that's great. Everything about this design-wise, I really like. The problem here was not even so much in the limitations of the hardware, it was in like planning. Like, why did you think this might be a good idea? So two of these are trackball games and one of them is a spinner game. And I have a D-pad. It's all I've got here and a couple of buttons. This whole proposition is like building a house out of hot dogs. I mean, I love houses and I love hot dogs, but the two should not go together. Eat your hot dogs, live in your house. Don't try to mash the two things that absolutely are not a great fit for one another together. It, it just doesn't make any sense. And in this case, it doesn't either. So let's take it game by game. Let's start with Centipede, which is the title card for this unit. It's what was right on the front cover is what you're actually paying for. Of all of these, this is probably the best of the three. First, it was a trackball game. If you thought that playing a trackball game with this little flat D-pad was a good idea. Now, I will say of all of them, it's the best conversion of control because, I mean, we've all played Centipede on our Ataris and things like that, that, you know, had just that digital non-trackball control. It was okay, it was serviceable, so that's, that's all right. But why would you try to cram that in here? So maybe as an apology, they added Missile Command. Let's talk about Missile Command. And Missile Command is probably the worst of the three here. Another trackball game. But in this case, the D-pad renders it almost, almost unplayable. Because there's no way you can keep up with the little ICBMs coming in for your cities. You just can't get there in time. You know, D-padding it way over to where a missile's coming in and then having to whip the other side of the screen. There's just no way to do it with this D-pad. You're gonna lose, you're gonna have a bad time, and it's not your fault. It's the game's fault. Uh, and then, <laughs> let's look at Pong. How, how do you mess up Pong? <laughs> it's the simplest, one of the first games ever. Simplest games ever. I mean, beep, boop, beep. That's all you have to do, really. And in this case, again, you had a D-pad, so up and down with no acceleration, not great. Uh, and it's just the sounds, again, for all three of these. Terrible, 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 terrible. If you're collecting all of these, great. Good for you, good for me, that's why I bought it, because I'm collecting them, sure, because it has Atari on it, and I'm a sucker, that's good. But if you want even close to the experience of Centipede, Missile Command, and Pong, stay far, far away from this thing. I'm gonna give you a little credit here for your implementation of Centipede, it was decent, but overall, I would have to say this combo little pocket micro arcade that has Centipede, Missile Command, and Pong from Super Impulse, uh, one token out of five, that's about as good as I can do. You're not gonna wanna play it again after you take it out of the box and look at it. It's not a satisfactory version of any of these games, and it's just probably not worth your money. If somebody's giving it away, great, looks good. Otherwise, stay far, far away from this one. Man, I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Gen X Grown Up is dedicated to bringing you new Generation X-inspired videos every week. Here are a couple more you can watch right now, but for even more, subscribe and enable those notifications. And if you love what we do, we invite you to support us over on Patreon. And of course, your feedback in the comments and a quick thumbs up are always appreciated.